What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is for today, bringing you guys back with a brand new Attack on Titan reaction video. Today, we are going to be ranked episode number 12 of season 3 of Attack on Titan. This is going to be the mid season finale, and I'm excited to see what happens. I've heard great things about this episode. Some of you guys told me to make sure not to miss the ending credits. So, we're not going to miss the ending credits, I promise. Um, and man, things are about to get crazy, dude. I'm excited to see how they actually end off. This little, I guess, mid-season finale for Attack on Titan Season 3. Things are getting crazy, dude. Things are already getting crazy. And I'm sure things are going to get even crazier. Hopefully, you guys are excited. If you guys are excited, you guys are new to do, be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel. If you guys are new to this channel, that would be greatly appreciated. Also, bear in mind that I do, in fact, have a Patreon, which you guys can find at the top of the description down below, where you guys can view the full reaction to this video and all the other videos that I actually post on this YouTube channel will, in fact, be in full, unedited, raw reaction videos over there on my Patreon. You guys also get early access content over there as well as we do actually post the Patreon first. And on top of that is, in fact, the number one best way to support this channel. So if you guys do want to support this channel, that's the way to do so. Thank you guys so, so much. Nonetheless, episode number 12 of season 3 of Attack on Titan entitled Night of the Battle to Retake the Wall. Things are about to get crazy, man. I'm excited. Things are about to get spicy. Enough talk. Let's just go through and dive right into this episode, episode number 12 of season 3 of Attack on Titan. Guess what? This what? We finally have a real shot at plugging the hole in Wall Maria. Oh, yeah? That's crazy, man. They came up with some crazy contraption. To take down titans. That's big for humanity. We don't have to risk soldiers. Man, Kenny was a good character, dude. I was not expecting to be as sad as I was for him to die. We have a vague idea, but unfortunately, with our technology, I'm afraid we can't dig much deeper. Aw, oh, no, that's not good. However, it vaporizes when exposed to air, making further analysis virtually impossible to perform. Oh no, we can't get any information on this? Wow, that is not good. In that case, rather than tamper with it, we should put it to use for our current objective. We're gonna use it as our special weapon, I guess. Levi, will you accept it? If it's an order, just say so. Oh wow, Levi is gonna be using it. Judging when to use it and on whom will be your responsibility. Oh, he's gonna have the power of, you know, holding the syringe. I see. All right, Levi, you're in charge. You're going to be holding the syringe. I don't know if he's going to be the one to use it or he's going to make someone else use it. We'll see. If the public were to see such a repulsive display, whatever trust they have in the military would evaporate. Yeah, that would not be good. All right, man, so that's going to be how we actually start this episode. I'm excited to see what happens. Um, I don't know if things are going to get crazy because it is, like, titled Night of the Battle to Retake the Wall. So I don't know if things are about to get spicy, crazy, insane. We do know that Levi has the syringe. So I don't know if he's going to be the one to actually use it and, I guess, turn into a titan. Or if he's just, like, holding it for someone else to use or command someone else to use it. So, I don't know. Time will tell, man. I'm excited to see what happens. Let's go through and dive right into this episode of Attack on Titan. Episode number 49, Night of the Battle to Retake the Wall. What's gonna happen? Let's find out. Who are we with here? Commander Irwin? Based on what he told you, it seems that Grisha Jaeger is a human who came from outside the wall. Yep. If he was really that supportive of the scouts and what we do, maybe he could have thrown a bit more information our way. Hey man, that's where the information lies in the in Aaron's cellar, right? In Aaron's basement. All the answers has got to be down there, right? That same man later wanted to show his young son, eager to join the scouts, something important. Aw, man. So adorable. He said the truth of it all was there, in the cellar. Yep, that's what I'm saying. This all in the cellar, in Aaron's basement. We've been talking about that for quite some time. Are we gonna finally be able to get to it? I don't know if, like, you saw that little shot. I don't know if it played in the actual video, but... Commander Irwin's dad looks like the guy that's the Beast Titan. Kind of strange. The final preparations are now complete. But I was told that he was, like, killed, so... begins in two days. Oh, wow. Two days, huh? Until things get crazy. Let's go see for ourselves. Oh, shoot. That's what we do. Oh, things are about to get crazy. We're about to go get Aaron's, uh, go in Aaron's cellar and get the information. All right, it's just Levi and Commander Irwin. What do you think you'll do after retaking Wall Maria? Already planning ahead, huh, Levi? Seems to be someone hoping the Titans will lead us all down to the last person. 
Yep. We'll find that answer in the cellar. It all lies in the cellar, man. So much information has got to be down there. Imagine if we get there, just the whole place is just empty. There's nothing. <laughs> Not exactly as spry as you used to be. Oh, oh man. Call the shots on this machine. Man, everyone's a real one. What do you say? Aaron lost his arms, right? So like, what if like Levi gave the shot to him, and in some way that gave him back his arm? This is my plan, Levi. Without me leading you, you're less likely to succeed. That is true. He is a great leader. We need him. But if you bite the dust out there, we're really screwed. That's also true. If he dies, that's tough. Stop right there. Any more of those noble ass excuses? And I'm gonna break both your. <laughs> Oh my god, he ain't playing either. You saw his eyes? You'll be way too busted up to even think about joining us on the operation. And it'll be a bitch to get to the toilet. <laughs> yep, definitely. Don't like that idea much. <laughs> Alright, so Commander Erwin's not gonna be going on the battlefield. And I'll be damned if I'm going to miss it. Or is he? Or is he? Being there. Is that important? Told Levi More straight up. <laughs> More than your legs. More than humanity's victory. Yes. That is true. He said, like, that's, like, his life's goal, to, like, prove what his dad said was true. Fine, Ervin. He's In coming. Case, I'll trust your judgment. He's coming. Commander Erwin's coming. Let's go. Hopefully nothing bad happens, right? We need him for what comes after. This is building up, man. We're, like, planning. We're seeing who's coming. We're getting ready. Night, but we don't need the public knowing our plans. Oh, really? It's neat. <laughs> they haven't seen this in such a long time. All right. <laughs> I know Sasha Browse is excited. Oh shoot, party time! Before we go into where a lot of people are probably gonna get injured and die. <laughs> Jeez, man. Look at Sasha Browse. No. So silly, man. So silly. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. This is great. You're eating me. <laughs> They are about to feast, man. They are about to have a great time. Oh my gosh! Jeez, oh, <laughs> Sasha Browns, chill out. So silly, man. Oh my god. <laughs> what the heck, dude? They literally had to tie her up just to <laughs> keep her to stay in line. Wow. Crazy to think that she once offered to share meat with everybody. That is true. She did that in what, like season one or two? When we were servicing the cannons. Uh, yep. Oh, I got the chills from that. I remember this. Aw, oh, man. We've come a, a far amount of ways. They're gonna get in. They're gonna get in. They're gonna get in. We've came so far since this, man. Hey. Snap out of it, Aaron. Back to present day. But think, that's all it took for us to make Levi squad. Yep, that is true. In four months, they've got this strong. Everyone starts out as a recruit, okay? If we throw recruits into battle like cannon fodder, then they'll all be too dead to learn. Yeah, that'd be way too dangerous, you know, just sending out the rookies to be in the front lines and stuff. The ones who really suck are the suicidal maniacs who think the only way to fight is to charge in blood. <laughs> Look at that, you aired. Are you talking about somebody in particular? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm looking right at him. Suicidal <laughs> maniac. <laughs> if that's how you really see me, then maybe you're just a coward, John. Oh, wow. They're gonna fight again. <laughs> just like old times. This is great, dude. This is great. This is such a great time. A lot of funny scenes and stuff before. Wow. His eyes rolling in the back of his head. <laughs> no. Not Aaron. Oh man, they are going at it. This is great, man. Just like old times. If you didn't have Titan powers, you'd be dead ten times over. Hey, that is true. <laughs> he would actually be dead like ten times. Oh my god. Good job, Aaron. <laughs> wow. Aaron versus John. The absolute climax of this episode. <laughs> This is great, man. Like I said, this is the uh, the calm before the storm. Why isn't anybody stopping us? <laughs> they just have to keep fighting. Stop celebrating. Levi had to come in and said, "Chill." And clean that up. Yes, sir. 
Everybody listens to Levi, of course. Sasha Browse is still tied to the post. Shouldn't you guys watch out for me more? Considering how quickly you heal, I wasn't especially worried about it. Oh my god. So friends you are. Look, you started it, so don't That was great, dude. That was a great little portion of the episode. I like that. I'm glad we met with the commandant. I think it helped. Aw, getting some answers and stuff. Spent so much time pitying myself, wondering why I couldn't be strong like Mikasa and Levi. I was jealous. Oh wow, jealous of Levi and Mikasa? We can't do all that much alone. None of us can. We're all human at the end of the day. Everyone's got their own strengths. And it's because of times like this. Aw, oh, a little pep talk before they venture into battle. Aw, oh, they came so far. I think you're right. Aw. Looks like Mr. Hannes. Aw, man. I go back. How can she still be here? Hopefully, right? Some things have changed forever. We will. I got the chills right now, man. This show's great, dude. There's so much beyond the walls, not just tightness. Yep. Water that glows like fire, fields of ice. Hopefully, we're, we're actually gonna be able to see that, you know? See the reaction and of all the crazy sights there are outside the walls. All right then. Let's start by finding the sea. Oh yeah. <laughs> just like that, huh? Okay, fine. I guess we'll have to check it out then. It's yep. not good enough. You have to promise. Okay. Is that Levi snooping around listening to him? It is. Okay, I Aww. Oh, shoot, man. The sun's coming out. Or is the sun going down? We're about to see the mission go underway, huh? Oh my gosh, what is this, Flagle? <laughs> Aww. I'm excited, dude. This is about to get so crazy. Aw, oh, I finally get some recognition. They're all cheering for him, dude. Big difference compared to when they'd come back and there'd be people, like, talking about him, saying this is a waste of our tax money and stuff. You got some people actually, you know, cheering for him. Hey, let's go. <laughs> I hope everybody stays safe. It's about to get ugly. It's about to get crazy. Here, the orchestra. Let's go, man. I'm ready. Hey, Erwin's a boss. That was a boss scream right there. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go, man. I'm hyped up, man. I'm ready. I'm ready to see what the uh, the future holds for this show. The operation begins now. Let's go, man. I'm excited. Got all of our troops. Let's go, man. Wow. This I got the chills, dude. I am ready. I am ready. Look at them all go, man. The animation's great. The story's great. The music's great. Everything's great. I love this show. I'm excited to see what happens. Things are about to get crazy. Good luck, guys. That was the end of the episode. I'm gonna see if there is a end scene. I believe there is, right? There's gotta be. What the heck is going on? See, it's like tripping out? It's like glitching. We're about to see some crazy stuff, aren't we? Beast Titan, I saw the Beast Titan, I see, oh my god, so much stuff. What? You have even the faintest damn clue. What you're doing? Oh, they have tears. What happened? Oh my gosh! What? Levi versus Mikasa? What happened? What happened? No, man. What happened, man? Oh my gosh. Is there any more? I don't think there is. Wow. So I guess we got to see like a little, like little tiny segment of, I guess what happens after whatever battle or whatever they do. Maybe it was like the information that was inside the cellar. Like maybe like it like revealed some sort of truth that I guess, I don't, I don't know. What, what could that possibly mean? Like why is Mikasa about to fight Levi? Why do they have tears in their eye? Are they... I don't know, man. I have no clue, but I'm stunned, I'm stoked, and I'm excited to see what happens inside of Attack on Titan. Hopefully you guys are ready for the ride, man, because I already, I can already tell things are about to get crazy in the second half of Season 3. We're not going to take a break. 
we're going to continue to react to season three until we actually finish the season then we're going to take a break from actually uh from, from attack on titan for a little tiny bit like two weeks finish something else and then we're going to watch season four get all caught up in season four and be ready I'm excited, man. Let's talk about this episode. Hopefully, you guys did actually enjoy the reaction of Attack on Titan episode number 12 of season 3. If you guys did actually enjoy the reaction you guys are going to do, be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel. If you guys are new to this channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. Also, bear in mind that I do, in fact, have a Patreon, which you guys can find at the top of the description down below, where you guys can do the full reaction to this video and all the other videos that I actually do post on this YouTube channel will, in fact, be in full, raw, unedited reactions on Patreon of all the videos I post and on top of that you guys also get early access content to all the videos as well because we do actually post to patreon first and on top of that is in fact the number one best way to support this channel so if you guys do want to support this channel that's the way to do so thank you guys so so much nonetheless let's talk about this episode because this episode was crazy we're getting hyped up lots of laughs lots of like actual like emotional moments and you know lots of hyped up moments getting ready for the actual mission the operation is about to begin and let's talk about what happened inside this episode dude and talk about the end scene as well because that was crazy all right that was one heck of an episode we started this episode out originally with uh, some talk about pretty much, I'm pretty sure they gave Levi that syringe, right? They gave him that syringe to do whatever he wants with it. He can, like, command someone else to use it, or he can use it himself inside of this operation that they're about to undergo and, and actually do, I believe. Um, I was thinking, like, I don't know if it'd be possible, like, so, sort of like, like, Spider-Man the Lizard Guy, if you guys know what I'm talking about. He, he has, like, a missing arm, and he took, like, a shot of something, and it grew back. So I was, like, I was wondering, because there was, like, a point where Aaron actually got like i believe his leg or his arm actually chopped off and stuff and he of course actually like almost died uh but because he was a titan it kind of regenerated so i'm kind of like I i'm kind of curious to know if like if commander erwin were to like take that shot if his arm would like grow back or if like i, I don't know like some sort of like what or what is titan or would he actually turn into a titan and that titan would actually be like armless like he wouldn't have like a single arm uh just like commander erwin is right now i don't i'm not too entirely sure how that would work um I think it would be like, I think it would be that, right? So he would like be like a titan and he'd be like having a missing arm. So I don't know if that would work or not. I'm just kind of throwing out ideas. Maybe that's something they could actually do with the, with the syringe, with the shot. Uh, maybe commander or, or maybe, you know, Levi actually takes the shot himself to turn into a titan against like the crazy battles that they're about to, you know, partake in. I'm guessing they're going to go against, I guess, the beast titan and maybe like Rhina and Bertold and the colossal titan and the armor titan and stuff. I'm not sure. Uh, but things are definitely going to get crazy, man. Things are about to get crazy. Things are about to get insane. Uh, there's a really, really cool scene inside of this episode where, where, where Levi was ta ta actually talking to Commander Irwin. And he didn't want, like, Commander Irwin to actually partake inside of this operation. But, of course, Commander Commander Irwin, he, this is, like, what he wants. He wants to go in that cellar. He wants to get information. He wants to, like, prove uh, that his dad was actually right and the things that, you know, his dad actually told him were actually the truth. That's like his life goals right now. That's his absolute dream. He's like what he's actually, you know, striving to do. And you see, like Levi said, I'm going to break your legs if you try to go, bro. <laughs> and Commander Erwin kind of chuckled and stuff. It was kind of a funny scene. But he actually was kind of like serious. Like, bro, I'm going to break your legs if you try to go. Because <laughs> we actually do need Commander Erwin. If anything were actually to happen to Commander Erwin, and we actually even, like, I guess, like, successfully did this operation with it, and, like, like what's come, what comes next would be very, very hard without Commander Erwin just because of how good of a leader he is. Um, but Commander Erwin said, hey, Levi, this is so important to me. I don't care. It's more important than my legs. It's more important than me. This and that. Like, I need to go with you guys and go to this cellar. Just, like, prove what his dad said was actually the truth. And, like, that's, like, what his actual, like, life goals are. So, of course... He's going to be coming. He's partaking inside the operation. And he's going to be commanding everybody. And hopefully everything goes smoothly. Hopefully nothing bad happens to Commander Irwin. Um, after that, we uh, they all got meat. <laughs> they all got meat. I guess after a while, I guess like they're, they're like, I guess their their supply of food doesn't have a large supply of meat. But for this operation, for this moment, for this special occasion, they all got it. They all got their little their rations and stuff. They had an absolute crazy party. It was really, really silly because inside of that, uh, uh, I think uh, Aaron and uh, Jean were like stabbing at each other. And then eventually up until the point where they actually started fighting. And it went on forever until up until the point where Levi came in and said, hey, stop this, go to bed, this and that. And then we got a pretty powerful scene with uh, all of uh, Mikasa, uh, Aaron, and Armin. They were all pretty much talking about how far they've actually come, and they saw a guy that looked like uh, Mr. Hannes. I don't know if that was like, maybe that was like Mr. Hannes is some, someone related to Mr. Hannes, or if that just looked like Mr. Hannes just to look like Mr. Hannes to like reflect on the old times and stuff. I'm not too entirely sure about that, but 
that was kind of sad, man. Like, we've really come so far. Even, like, actually, like, came up inside of, like, a conversation with Connie, I believe. How far, like, they, these guys have come in four months. I mean, like, four months ago, they weren't even part of Levi's squad. And now they are. Now they're, like, like you know, very, very strong. And they've been through so much. So, I'm proud of them, man. I'm so, so proud of them. They're going through so much stuff and things are getting crazy. Um, and then... At the very end of the episode, we actually ended off with, you know, the crowd actually cheering for, you know, the scouts before they actually, you know, undergo their actual operation, and it's kind of nice that they actually did that because there were scenes like in, the, I think, like season one, right, where, you know, the scouts would come back all injured and stuff, and... Everybody would be like booing them, like, ooh, you suck, you suck, this and that, like, and just saying, like, this is a waste of our tax money and this and that. So it's good that the people are actually, or most of the people, I'm pretty sure there's like, you know, a few out of everybody, like, still saying that. Maybe not, right? Maybe not. Uh, but there's a lot of people, you know, cheering for them and stuff, and that's really nice to see. That's really, really nice to see. And then. They, they, of course, they got on their horses, they went over the walls, they have a really cool, like, device of actually getting down the walls and up the walls and stuff with their horses. That's really, really smart, uh, like, a really, really smart way to do so. Um, but then after that, in the end credits, I don't even know, man. I don't, like, Mikasa just, like, launched on top of Levi, and, like, she's angry. Uh, before that, they had, like, tears in their eye, it was, like, mixed of, like, tears and, like, mixed emotions and, like, anger, and I don't know what happened. Um, but something happened. Um, I don't know what could possibly have happened. Maybe something in the cellar, like, revealed some sort of information, or maybe, like, I guess a lot of people died, or, uh, I guess they're mad at each I don't know why they, they would do that. I guess Aaron and Mikasa are gonna fight next, I guess, in, in the next few episodes. I think they're gonna fight. I don't, I... I don't even know. <laughs> like, what? I'm kind of confused about that. I'm kind of... I, I want to see what happens. We might see that in, like, episode 4 and episode 5 and episode 6 of... Or, I guess, like, episode, like, 13 or 15, 16, 17. I don't know, man. It was definitely, like, a flash forward of, like, what's going to happen. And I don't know, like, leading up to, like, that point, what's going to happen, but... I'm excited, dude. I'm really, really excited. Hopefully, you guys are excited. Uh, be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel if you guys haven't yet already. That'd be greatly appreciated. If you guys did actually enjoy the reaction, you guys are going to do, leave a like, subscribe. Be sure to check out my Patreon if you guys do want the full reactions of all the videos I post. And on top of that, you guys also get early access to all the content as well because we do post to Patreon first. And it is, in fact, the number one best way to support this channel. That was a crazy way to that was a crazy way to end this, I guess, mid-season four, season three of Attack on Titan. I'm excited to see what happens next. Hopefully you guys are excited, but with that being said, I'll be seeing you guys on my next one. Peace.